prepare to see the ascent of the electric powerhouse Tesla, which intends to break into the mass market and produce 20 million units by 2020. Tesla is fully committed to its goal of revolutionizing the automobile sector, but its focus extends beyond electric vehicles. The business is also making significant investments in renewable energy and with megapacks to be produced at a new plant in Shanghai, Tesla's future in the energy storage sector is bright. This video will go over Tesla's big goals, the advantages of its new Chinese manufacturing, and how the business continues to outperform its rivals. So grab a seat and let's examine Tesla's exciting future in more detail. First things first, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do so now. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up at the conclusion. With aspirations to produce 20 million vehicles by 2020, Tesla has big goals. That would give them a staggering 24% market share and position it as the leading automaker. They have outlined a plan of action for reaching this challenging objective, which includes a 50% cost reduction that will allow them to enter the mass market and take 50% of the market. To achieve this, they intend to reduce expenses and enter new markets by making modifications to the General Assembly, Battery, and Powertrain. They intend to establish a new facility in Mexico's Nuevo Leon. Numerous advantages come with this location, such as accessibility to significant trade routes, reduced labor costs, and availability of a skilled labor force. Apart from the benefits of being located in Mexico, Tesla can also benefit from the $7,500 tax. Credit that American consumers who purchase electric vehicles can apply toward the cost of the vehicle. Tesla is able to continue receiving this credit and pass the savings along to their customers by producing their cars in Mexico. One further advantage of conducting business in Mexico is the nation's numerous tariff agreements with Latin American nations. Tesla can benefit from these treaties and provide their products to customers in Brazil and other Latin American nations at a reduced price by exporting cars from their new plant in Mexico. Overall, it seems like Tesla made the right option in opening a new manufacturing in Mexico. They are setting themselves up for long-term growth and profitability by utilizing cost advantages and branching out into new markets. Consequently, a lot of investors are feeling positive about the company's future performance and confident about its possibilities. It was comforting to see that Tesla is a multi-person firm rather than just Elon Musk's, as seen by the range of executive expertise on display at their most recent investor day. With 1.3 million orders, this year's Cybertruck launch is expected to be massive. It will be worth roughly $40 per share if they can introduce it this year and deliver 200,000 units the following year. In addition to becoming known for building high-quality electric vehicles, Tesla is also making solar panels and batteries for storing renewable energy, which is crucial for the switch to clean energy. In order to maintain its low-cost EV production, Tesla has implemented new policies and invested $5 billion in a new gigafactory located in Mexico. With $801 million in revenue from energy generation and storage, their energy industry is another growth engine. Certain analysts hold a highly optimistic view of Tesla's energy sector, viewing it as an underappreciated potential catalyst. An investor in Tesla, Gary Black, projects that by 2023, Tesla Energy would generate over $20 billion in sales and a noteworthy $8 billion in gross profit. The future is bright for Tesla and investors shouldn't pass up this chance. Kanakogi Annuity recently lauded Tesla as a sustainability giant, citing its electric vehicles, platform for solar and energy storage, and leadership in both areas. The annuity predicts that Tesla will have a successful year in the upcoming months, and that it has a solid balance sheet to survive any future recession. With a large selection of solar and energy storage devices for clean energy applications, Tesla is putting more and more emphasis on renewable energy in general. In an effort to enter the Chinese market during a difficult period in U.S.-China relations, they recently revealed intentions to construct a facility in Shanghai to manufacture their Megapack battery. With plans to build 10,000 units annually for global distribution, the new factory is scheduled to begin construction in the third quarter of this year and begin production in the second quarter of 24. China ranks as Tesla's second largest market, contributing almost 25% of the company's revenue made in 2022. About half of the company's global automobile deliveries come from their Shanghai Auto Facility, which exports cars to Europe in addition to serving China's domestic auto market. A crucial component of Tesla's worldwide expansion strategy has been the company's performance in China. China is the largest automobile market in the world, with a population of over 1.4 billion people. And as such, it offers Tesla a huge opportunity. In late 2019, Tesla became the first foreign automaker to have a wholly owned facility in China when it started manufacturing at its own gigafactory in Shanghai. Since then, the business has been able to benefit from China's significant demand for EVs as well as the nation's initiatives, initiatives to lower carbon emissions. A major factor in Tesla's growth in China has been its Shanghai facility. The company's most well-known automobiles, the Model 3 and Model Y, are made at this plant. 
Tesla's cars are now more reasonably priced for Chinese buyers since the company is able to dodge China's high import taxes on automobiles built abroad by producing these vehicles domestically. Due to this, Tesla has been able to grow its market share in China, which already has the largest EV market in the world. Apart from fulfilling domestic demand, Tesla's Shanghai plant is accountable for exporting automobiles to outside markets. The factory shipped more than 30,000 Model 3s to Europe in 2020, which increased the business's sales all over the world. This has given Tesla access to China's extensive network of trade deals with other nations and allowed it to benefit from the country's competitive labor costs. Overall, Tesla's development has been greatly aided by its success in China, which is expected to continue to be an important market for the business in the years to come. Due to waves of blackouts in 2021, China's demand for grid storage batteries has increased, creating new potential for Tesla's energy storage solutions. In case you were unaware of the potential significance for Tesla, consider this many provinces are requiring newly constructed wind and solar farms to include sufficient batteries to store a portion of the energy they produce. Watch this space over the next few months for the most recent information on all things Tesla. Click the like button, subscribe, and enable notifications. The company's future growth into the renewable energy and battery storage businesses appears bright. So returning to the subject at hand, the installation of electricity storage systems has resulted in a massive increase in the global demand for energy storage. Both the manufacturing of rechargeable batteries and the chemical reactions required to produce their constituents are dominated by China. Megapacks, which have the capacity to store enough energy to run 3,600 houses for an hour will be manufactured in Tesla's new Shanghai plant. This kind of battery is the best option for storing solar and wind energy for later use because it is affordable and well-suited for utility-scale power storage. Just 5% of Tesla's business revenue comes from energy generation and storage, which is a rather tiny amount. Total revenue of the company. But as electric companies move toward renewable energy, having the capacity to store electricity for use in times of low demand becomes essential. Elon Musk unveiled Tesla's second phase of its master plan in 2016. This phase involved developing self-driving capabilities that are 10 times safer than human driving, increasing the electric vehicle product line, and building solar roofs with battery storage. For a number of reasons, Tesla decided to locate its new manufacturing in Shanghai. China is a great place to increase output and cut costs because of its dominating battery supply chain. In addition, many U.S. businessmen are hesitant to make investments in China due to the escalating political tensions between the two nations. By utilizing China's battery supply chain and its battery supply chain in its new manufacturing, Tesla will be able to satisfy the growing demand for energy storage on a global scale. Tesla has cut pricing for its cars and given customers incentives in spite of fierce competition from domestic firms like Xpeng, U.S.-listed NIO, and Warren Buffett's Bide. With the opening of the new Megapack facility in Shanghai and a boost in output at their Nevada facility, Tesla hopes to maintain its lead over rivals and fulfill the global need for energy storage. Elon Musk recently tweeted that the Megapack plant in California will be able to produce more thanks to the proposed Tesla factory in Shanghai. The Chinese government and the Biden administration have been pressuring businesses to make investments in cutting-edge technologies. In order to fulfill the rising demand for electric vehicles, President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. Which? offers incentives for the production of rechargeable batteries in the U.S. This battery supply will need to be significantly increased if Tesla is to meet its lofty goal of selling 20 million vehicles annually by the end of the decade. However, cost constraints must be put in place throughout the supply chain, particularly for batteries, in order to really produce affordable electric automobiles. According to Simon Moss, CEO of Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, Tesla has a clear route to growth if Musk can lower the cost of batteries. Nevertheless, fierce rivals are prepared to capture market share. What will you think of this development if Tesla is unable to lower the cost of its batteries? Please share your thoughts in the space provided for comments below. Don't forget to provide your Tesla valuation. Check out the following video that appears on your screen to stay updated on Tesla's recent activities. I'll see you over there.